Hello and welcome to today's video. Today is Saturday and the truth is that most people are just waiting for the Friday, for the Saturday to feel excited finally about the week. And today's video is going to be about a discussion that I had with a man yesterday that I met in my city. And he's a traveler and he's one of the those people who don't get excited for any type of the day. They don't have a sense of uh, days of the week. And um, he's from Denmark actually and he has been a reporter for his entire life. So he has been a journalist for some company in Denmark and during his life he visited 65 countries. So he was doing sports news for different channels, he was uh, going to different cities on different missions, uh, interacting with different clubs and he has a, a huge experience with um, just exploring cities and he came to my country he decided to book uh, some tickets he found some cheap tickets to my country which is a uh, republic of moldova um, probably some of you will not know where this is this is in the um, eastern europe uh, between ukraine and romania it's a small country and he uh, this guy from denmark came to um, the capital which, which is Chisinau, and then he stayed here for two weeks so yesterday when i met him he was already here for two weeks he had time to explore some cities he went to the north of the country and then most of the time he spent in the capital and he said like the the most um, thing that he repeated over and over again was that people should run from here and that's the reality that he came to uh, and i can trust his um, opinion because he visited 65 countries again he's a reporter and he knows uh, how different cities, different levels of life, some have higher standards, some have lower standards. And um, he said like, young people should just run from here. And um, like my uh, perspective about this is somewhat the same. I'm an entrepreneur, I don't depend on location. I'm a digital entrepreneur, I don't depend on location or on days of the week. And it, was, it didn't make such a, an impact uh, in my um, perspective, it didn't change my opinion about things. But um, this is somewhat uh, crazy that somebody who comes here for the first time and he has this experience uh, with the country and after two weeks he decided that people should run from here, there's gonna be no change here, he said, in the next 50 years and then like um, he said, like the image of the city doesn't create a good welcoming um, environment for tourists. He says um, there are a bunch of beggars and the, there's no balance. There are people who are crazy rich and there are people who are crazy poor. And that's not how he, his country is. He says Denmark is a place where they have like high standard of life, but people are all kind of on the same level. And he mentioned the system which he escaped. So even in his country, it's super developed and they have this system that works. And he says people receive their payments like month after month and they receive their, their salary from their job. And then they have high income taxes, which allows the system to work. And then they have like, he doesn't see the uh, world as black and white. And he, he explained this like, he sees um, like as black how the society wants the system to work. You have like leads coming in, you have kids going through the school system, through the education system, then they go to college and they have a job and they work for 40 years and then they retire. So that's, that's the route that the society wanted him to take. But he decided his own type of freedom. And that's something else to take on from this video. It's not just black and white. People have different perspectives about what freedom means to them. Another thing that he noticed about the city is that the building where the president lives in the city is huge. And it doesn't make sense because uh, people are poor and he can notice this as a tourist and he can compare the standards of life. And he says like the building of the president is so huge and it doesn't make sense. And it has two fences like white 
why in the world would you need two fences for, for the building in the center of the capital? It's also crazy uh, and it's nice to see what tourists think about the city even though I've lived here for about uh, seven, eight years. But I didn't think about it, it didn't make such a... Um, it wasn't a highlight for me. And then um, in the end he said like the only thing that would benefit this country is to just join the, the European Union but that, if you're watching this, that's probably not your uh, concern. You don't care much about this. I just wanted to uh, make sure that you see the difference between what some people get. Like they get these developed countries and then they get these opportunities and these possibilities and they, they don't use them. And then there's, there's these, diff uh, these countries that where the le uh, level of life is really low and people still somehow get through, people still use possibilities that they have, use opportunities that they have. And then in the developed countries, like uh, how they call them, th uh, tier one countries, like USA, then the entire Europe, then Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and they don't use the possibilities. Like as on this channel, I talk about online marketing and about how you can grow something and you can develop and you can expand your company online so that's a possibility that you should take and then um, about the freedom uh, I personally think that freedom for me would mean uh, that I have location freedom, time freedom and financial freedom I don't want to be tied down to a location I want to be able to travel wherever I want whenever I want and then I don't want to have um, limited time like in the beginning, I can put as much time as there as I have, so that I build asset. I build, um, I invest in myself as an asset. I make an asset out of myself. I grow my personal brand, and then I invest in my audience, those who listen to me, those who see my experience, and those whom I can help and make an impact in their lives. And think I think this is a, a great investment that I can make. And in the end, it's financial freedom, which is. Um, that's how the society, I don't, I don't see ma uh, money as value. That's how society works. If you want something, you'll gotta pay for it. And uh, I really hope you got value from this video and you know, see a different perspective. And um, the story of this man really motivated me to um, make this video. And if you think, if you like this content, make sure to uh, leave a like and then let me know down below what freedom means to you and if you um, like content about online marketing about growing something online make sure to subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow in my next video